What's up everybody, Jesse Mails here, backwaterflyfishing.com and 506outdoors.com. I'm about to head to the airport right now to pick up one of the gnarliest dudes in fly fishing. We're gonna run around Costa Rica for a week and I figured instead of doing a quick video where I just show you the highlights, I'm gonna take you day by day to show you what one of these trips is really like for us as guides and for Court and his buddy. So let's get to it. All right, so we're at the airport. We're gonna go get Court now. Hopefully he stayed free of the coronavirus, we'll see. So we got court here, we're gonna go pick up supplies, and then we're gonna be off actually later tonight at midnight to pick up our other dude from the airport, and then we'll be going, but I'm driving right now, so I'm gonna stop doing this. All right guys, so here we are in Walmart, picking up snacks and food for the beach camping and for the machaca fishing. Um, Mike and I are gonna be cooking, and I like to think of myself as like a young Gordon Ramsay, and Mike is my Rachel Ray. <laughs> so we're picking up all the goods. These, this is a crack. You gotta get a few of them, right? Of course. All right. I'd never give you anything about MSG. <laughs> So we just got out of Walmart. We bought all our groceries, all our stuff to prep our meals. But trips like this take a lot of prep, so we gotta get back, tie a bunch of flies, string up a bunch of reels, both spinning reels and fly reels, and kind of get everything squared away, then pick up our dude at midnight, and then we're ready to hit the water machaca fishing the next day. Hey, here we are. Yeah, we messed up big time. You know what? We go to bed at 9.30, set our alarms, all three of us, to wake up, to meet this dude at midnight, and we don't even wake up. So this guy goes and gets a hostel downtown San Jose. It's a stray cat. In the stray cat's hostel. And so now we're trying to figure out how to get him out of there. It's like four in the morning right now. So, Hopefully, if he can hang with us, he can hang with us the rest of the week. Hopefully, he's still got all his kids. <laughs> what kind of other options are there? You're just stuck in the airport at midnight. Did you get a return flight? <laughs> just to turn around? Home to the mountain. <laughs> so, after last night and the whole thing with Liam. We finally got the dude. We're here eating some breakfast, waiting on Will. And once Will shows up, we're hitting the river. So, time to grub out. All right, so we just finished eating. Will just showed up with the raft. Um, there it is right there. And we're gonna get everything set up, get in the car, and then hit the river. So, pretty stoked. Go time. Go time. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, buddy. Game time. Alright, so here we go. We're on the road. We're gonna stop here at the store, grab some refreshments, some ice, and then we're gonna hit the river. This one young lady's like, guys, why did I work today? Yeah, take the bad day to work. Home to 
to the mountain near. <laughs> yeah. What are you thinking, bro? I'm thinking I need a beer. Ooh. Watch the trailer behind you. Watch the trailer. <laughs> how was how that, bro? Yeah. That thing slipped and about fell on my face and then it got hit by a trailer. <laughs> All right, so finally after all that nonsense, we're here at the river, starting day one, machaca fishing. Let's get after it. Here we are taking a break from fishing, doing a little swimming. Found ourselves a little rope swing out here. Check it out. That looked okay. All right, after a little swim break, we're getting back out on the water and we're coming in a good stretch of river, so hopefully we pick up something nice. We'll see. It's a long day out here, it's sunshine, low water, so you kind of just get what you get. Alright, so here we are chilling in the car. We fished all day. The water's so low, the fish are really tight. Um, but we're gonna fish kind of lower down in the river tomorrow for day two and hopefully come across some more fish. But right now, we're gonna chill, let the day wind down, set up camp, have a few beers, and we'll see what tomorrow has for us. Alright guys, so just woke up in the jungle here, kind of camped out last night and we're going to hit the Machaca River again today and see what happens. Hopefully either the water came up or we're going to fish down river from where we were and hopefully make something happen a little better than yesterday. So we'll see. All right guys, here we are, day two. We moved, we went up to another river, and we think it's gonna pay off. We just pulled up. It was a hell of a little trip to get here. And water looks good, so hopefully, man, hopefully we get on them. We'll see here in a minute. I gave away my hat. <laughs> Somebody that agreed to stop killing tarpon. That's a pretty good thing to do. Don't be a dick. <laughs> Dude, you don't see those, man, especially eating chili mate balls. That's crazy.
man, we're out here. We've been hooking up now. We're in a good stretch of the river. Liam just hooks up on a toad. Woo! Pretty right studly. <laughs> we still got plenty of water to go today too, so we'll see what happens. Alright guys, that's a wrap of day two. We caught a ton of fish today. Um, we switched rivers, which was a good move. Um, water here was fantastic, and I don't even know how many fish we caught, but we crushed it today. We gotta now kinda take this raft behind me and carry it up these rocks right here. So that should be a lot of fun. And, uh, and then we're out of here. We're gonna make our way back home, get some stuff ready to go to the beach for a few days. So. Sit tight. The beauty of the stage. You'll be my downfall, baby. You'll be my great undoing. Wow, dude. What's up, dudes? Here we are, day three. We're out at the beach now. We just had a hell of a drive out here. Come to find out, they blocked the freaking beach road off with these giant concrete pillars. So we just had to straight up Baja down the beach from the entrance just to get over here to our campsite. And this is one of our favorite spots to be, but we'll see how it goes the next few days. <laughs> So we've been chilling on the beach here since we got here. Uh, climbed a few trees. Micah and Liam went out on the boat and me and Cord are kind of sitting back checking out camp. And unfortunately it's super windy up here. Um, that's just the time of the season, but they got out there and really it lays down at the end of the day. So hopefully they came into some fish and we'll have to wait till they get back to see what happens. Stay tuned. Throw in there. He's got it. Yeah. Whoa, 
it, bro! <laughs> what the? F oh my god! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> bro, they're still right there. Look at that school jack. so much <laughs> so sick we're waiting this flat and these jacks a hundred of them just come pushing up in freaking a foot of water GT style nailing <laughs> everything and we had two shots at him finally got the dude the to hand, hand. <laughs> all right yeah nice dude Thanks for helping me. <laughs> uh, just cleaning it up. What's up, guys? I'm chilling here inside the back of my car because it's the only spot that the wind isn't just killing um, in order to record this audio. But, man, we got up early. We went out. We had forgot the cameras in the morning, but we crushed these Bonita schools. And we saw a lot of jacks on the way in, and then we decided that since the tide was super, super low, we were gonna fish this flat and look for some perms or something. And sure enough, we're on there, and these giant schools of jacks come up on top of the on top of the flat. Me and Court are standing there. Can't believe it. They're just crushing everything. Court throws in there first, hooks up. The thing just bends his hook, destroys the fly. We didn't have enough time, so we just got the fly back, bent it back, bent the hook back with some pliers, and next thing, a hundred school, hundred jack come back right at us. Port those in there, and just bangs them. And we get back to the to the camp here right now, and we get back to the camp, and Michael was out there for a little bit, and he hooked a monster rooster fish. And unfortunately, again, you know, we only have this one camera and nobody's there to film it. He's out there by himself. And, you know, we heard him screaming, but he was too far away to kind of do anything about it. So it's been a crazy, crazy day. It's only noon right now. Um, and we've caught tons of jacks, tons of bonita, and a big, big rooster. So we're excited to see what the tide swings are going to give us tomorrow. And as of right now, and we're gonna camp, eat some lunch, and then maybe come out here and fish again in the afternoon if the wind lays down. So we'll see.
what's up guys so we're out here this is i guess our last day at the beach um and yesterday we just absolutely crushed it and the water the wind's down right now which is fantastic it's like a ocean like a flat ocean out here and um man we're just hoping we could find some tuna schools see if the jacks show up again uh we'll see but stay tuned <laughs> What's up dudes? Got out this morning, fishing was super slow. The wind is pretty much completely gone. And um, right now we're sitting on this beach, kind of waiting for the tide to go down and see if we can get on that flat where we had those jacks busting yesterday and see if there's any other fish species we can find. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens. All right guys, so we just essentially finished fishing on the flat today, we didn't see anything. So we're kind of grubbing out and we're right by the beach. We just saw a bunch of fish hitting. We're gonna load up everything and maybe get out there this afternoon and see what we could do. One more try, coming to get you. Last day of salt water. Took it hard kick to the junk today. It was a tough one. Epic day. Second day of machaca fishing was off the chart. Off the chart. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> today was today was brutal. We paddled out early in the morning, got it handed to us, then stood on a Africa hot flat for four hours got it handed to us. And then we went out and paddled six miles across the Pacific Ocean and got handed to us again. Tough, tough way to end it. The president had a conference today. The president, Donald Trump, had a conference today. Press release. No toilet paper or anything? There's no toilet paper. Good thing we got leaves. So I was gonna say, luckily we haven't had toilet paper seven days. You in trouble today. You in trouble today. I, I, 